Now for the in-depth view of my setup, Crystal Concentrics, booth 60, at the West Springfield, New England Gem and Mineral Show. So there's gonna be a little extra detail for me. In back, we've got an eight foot, their eight foot table. In front, we've got three of their eight foot tables. And on each side, we have their 30 inch by six foot tables uh, as end caps. Now, what I did was I put jewelry over here, 50% off jewelry. I brought this lamp over there and I brought this up. This is the second day right now. Everyone picks up this faux amber Kuan Yin, thinking it's amber. Uh, if it were amber, why would you pick it up? It just seems disrespectful. But anyway, uh, that's a beautiful goddess. And we have pendants and this amazing stalactite. Cool family sculpture there. We have rings. And this piece that I'm giving away here, that one is carved on the, in, you know, it's got a geode on the inside and an amazing carving on the back. I don't think I can keep that on sale forever. $360 is a giveaway. Uh, so is this $60 great big marble elephant. Anyway, we've got earrings, which is always cool. Have to get a special light here, clamp light, because the overhead lights just don't do it justice when it's not uh, against the back of the table. Anyway, we've got our disc necklaces here and then our 50% off pendants here. And what I find is that if it's in a case, people are much more leery because a lot of people don't want to spend anything. Here we have beautiful opal half price. Um, and at this show, we haven't gotten any attention on them with Jade one of my favorites. It seems like rings is all people want to hear about. Uh, used to be I'd sell some dice. Here's some other things, bracelets, rhodochrosite, a great combo with jade. I'm very invested in keeping this display going. This one too, this is the goddess case. And we've got beautiful rings down to $28 here. And we've got the bigger rings here in all different sizes from four to 10. Then we have some Sugilite pendants and Larimar and Citrine, True Citrine. as fake Sugilite. And we've got some other interesting pieces, discs, spheres, hearts, all good stuff. These are new acquisitions, those cool pyrite spheres. And there's a beautiful um, parrot pair of parrots that are carved out of a single piece of quartz. In back, we have some other new tasties. These are the Manitoba gypsums. Less yellow, more orange, very, very cool. Uh, in back, we have a spectacular sandstone from Arizona, which will hopefully get some interest. We have some of the last of our big goddesses. Card deck is here with an explanation and an open deck for people to check out. Mailing list, which people sign on to, and cards which people take. There is my book, Crystal Energy, Understanding and Working with Stones for Clarity and Flow. There is my 10 Energy Zone system on a poster. And there's the book as well. Here's Moldavite World. We've got rings in every size. We have chunks all under a hundred bucks we have beads we have tumbled beads columbianites over there some faceted beads kind of cool this is how moldavite is found you see it there in its matrix some besednica a nice little collection of half price moldavites angel heart heart leaf cool pendants of various types, including one of my favorites, these uh, glass vial little bottles, some 50% off rings of Moldavite, and then we've got some more of these pendants, 
looking back you see that's how it looks you've got all your cases up front then we try something new with our slab selection slabs are right here we've got one rack here with a couple of boxes in front and then another rack there. I'll pull back so you can see the whole thing. Very, very nice. And this great big pyrite concretion has gotten a lot of attention. Um, there's a nice um, tiger iron slab and a great big tiger and some beautiful items in our display cases, including some new ones. Look at that great big double terminated Lemurian quartz and the huge waterfall of rose quartz in back. There are some nice fossils, great big ahoite, smaller ahoite, and this crazy corkscrew gastropod. Underneath we have a dragon scale calcite and a cool spherical pyrite on clear fluorite, blue fluorite, rutilated quartz, and a rhodochrosite buddha. We don't have proper light. Actually, the camera's doing better justice than our eyes can do on this amazing, huge disc of jade, true nephrite jade. Then we have our second specimens case here with lots of great things in it. All different colors, all different price points, everything 50% off. It's an awesome, awesome selection. Uh, there's my two Praise, uh, praise, and then one is bicolor with amethyst, um, seraphos quartzes, two of my favorite sugilites, and then some small tumbles over there. And then of course, we've got some little chips and a real citrine of amazing color, hewlandite, very cool stuff. Illinois fluorites right there. And then we have our wooden sort of antique looking case here with some bigger items. That's an Inner Mongolia smoky cluster. That's a dinosaur bone sphere. There's a starburst, hematoid quartz, great bicolored tourmaline, a Herkimer diamond here. This is an amazing pink um, nail head calcite. We've got a whale tooth. We've got a great big aragonite heart in back there, a cool fluorite whale, an amylite in back, a laramar sphere, and a beautiful great big red quartz. Those are not being found anymore. Nice uh, jade sphere and a pink mangano calcite over there at the end. This has long been a favorite, fantastic. Um, huge kind of brainy looking ammonite with some other shells in a great big concretion. Got some sweet little aura quartz shapes, hearts, stars, moons, etc. Some animals, geodes, votives, pendants, and some other interesting things. Take a look at all of that. These are very new here. I'd never gotten one of these great big spherical fluorites. Very awesome. Beautiful octahedral, wise mine, uh, New Hampshire fluorite. There's a beautiful uh, Arkansas plate, twin golden healer, great big spiky aragonite calcite. This one is quite unusual. I could do a whole video on that, and I probably will. Sphalerite with pyrite and selenite. Green apophyllite over here. And then this great encrusted danburite. And another hewlandite over there. Some other cool specimens. Some utensils. Hearts and skulls. And very cool lamps. The last of my lamps of this type. And over here we have a great big magnificent cluster to close out the display. So I'm going to pull back so you can see from the back if you're walking along this is what you'll see. And then you come around 
and see all of that pretty cool stuff and you get a very good sense of what it is like to actually come to this show and check out this display so thanks for watching it's Kyle at crystalconcentrics.com and you can reach me by visiting the site and emailing Kyle at crystalconcentrics.com. Thanks for watching the long version, over 10 minutes.